Chalmers is a thinking man's wrestler, which is going to work in his advantage up against D.B. Robinson. So he's not like you as a wrestler, What's that supposed to be? Look at the physique on this guy. Looking to be one of the favourites, I think, in the heavyweight tournament. An absolute beast. I definitely see him being in the final round of the heavyweight tournament. I'm sure Jace does too, somehow. Can you blame him? Look at this guy. Look at the physique, look at the brains on this guy. is a power lifter, as, as I've been told, but you know what, it's going to take a lot more than being a powerful guy to actually get through this tournament and make it all the way to the finals. Well, I think you'll have crowd support here today. I think the crowd will definitely be on DB's side for this one. Lots of crowds lost on that one. Not necessarily. So, we've got a power lifter in the corner here, so I think we've got DB with the strength advantage in this one. Well, definitely, but like I said, it's going to take a lot more than strength to get through this tournament. And there's DB making his catchphrase right there. I bet you he's hungry for points in this tournament. Yeah, I think everyone is at this stage. So remembering points in the tournament, three points for a submission, two points for a pin, and one point for a no contest. Well, you know what? I'm going to be keen for this match. I can't wait to see Jace beat the absolute hell out of him. Both wrestlers are getting ready. Gladly go back there. I'd rather be there than here. Jace is just warming up here, doing a bit of stretching. Taking his time. I think 
this a bit of a psych out game on on Jace's part? What do you reckon? Well, I mean, uh, Jace is good at playing mind games, um, which we've seen live at shows, and it, um, I think it might be starting to play into DB's mind. Uh, we'll see how that goes throughout the match. Lock up. Power struggle going on between the two here, and oh, it's neutral. DB's looking very fired up here. Well, the guy has got a lot of determination, I'll give him that. DB going for a bit of crowd support here, trying to get the crowd behind him. And it looks like it's working. Well, the D in DB Robertson should stand for determination. Lock up once again. Go behind him to a waist lock. DB's got a waist lock and a reversal there. Beautiful reversal. Jace Charms to turn it around and... Oh. Showing some strength of his own, but DB goes down. Yep. Oh, oh, front facing Chancery here. Oh, come on, DB. No one likes a showboat. Oh, sit out there from Jace Chalmers, and he comes behind with a waist lock of his own. DB still struggles out of it. Oh, DB reverses it there. DB reverses one to his own. Jace counters, and oh, what a beautiful display there. What were you saying about showboating? Uh, I don't remember. That was a really beautiful move by Jace Chalmers. But it still gets countered by DB. Both men, oh, and a roll up. Oh, Oklahoma roll there from Jace Chalmers. What a good pin there. I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you. Got DB a bit by surprise there. See, Jace Chalmers is a thinking man wrestler. He just proved it right now. By saying he's smarter. Yeah, definitely. That's all he needs to do against DB Robertson. Maybe he's just more egotistical. Oh, I didn't see it that way. We'll have to wait and see. And wrist lock applied here by DB Robertson, and he's just wrenching the arm. And a crippling arm ringer by DB. Oh, followed by an uppercut to the bicep muscle there. Oh, and look. Jace is feeling that one for sure. Yeah, look at the anguish on his face, but he quickly reverses out of this one. Oh, nice looking reversal there from Jace Chalmers. Must say, it's not smart to keep going back to try and brag during a match. Well, he's just trying to play mind games with DB. He's just trying to, trying to stay mentally on top of him. That's all. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't think it's working with DB. DB's just focusing on his strength advantage here. It's still a back and forth contest here. Side headlock. Push off to the ropes. And... Oh, oh shoulder oh. tackle. No, Nobody. DB's... Nobody goes down. But... Hip toss. Hip toss. What was this about showboating? Look at him. Look at this. Big hip. Oh! oh, and that's what he gets for showboating. Remember that next time, Jake. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, this is why I was saying Jace is a thinking man. This wrestler, right? Here we got Jace is on the outside, taking his time. I'm not sure if that's the best thing to be doing here. I mean, he could be getting in the ring and he could have taken advantage of that missed situation there. Jace is biding his time on the outside. He's taking a breather and he's trying to recover. Maybe he needs more ring fitness. Well, he might not be as physically fit as DB, but it's going to take a lot more than strength and fitness to win this tournament. Okay, we're getting ready to lock up again. Oh, oh beautiful strike. Oh, I heard that. Huge kick there from Jace Chalmers. We should do another one. Oh, there you go. Hammering away at DB with some big feet. Big thumping kicks there. DB's just shaking that off. Jace showing the crowd who's boss. It's going to need more than that to put DB away. Maybe so, but we'll, we'll get to find out. Oh, back to the kicking. Nice catch by DB. Jace maybe pushed his luck a little too far. Palm strike. Oh. And off, off the ropes. ropes. Big elbow drop. This can't be it. Surely. Rebecca with the pin. And a one count. One count. Rebecca Rumble has called a one count there. DB straight back on him. Looks like we're going to have a suplex, suplex. here. Suplex. Oh, big snap suplex. Halfway there. across the ring. Jace Chalmers looks like he's in trouble here. Two. Oh, kick out at two. Oh, not a big kick out either there. Looks like he's tiring out here. Jace is waning at the moment, but we have yet to see the end. Oh, looks like we've got a sidewalk slam here or a back Look break. at the strength on be? DB. Oh, oh, big sidewalk slam there. Jace is not a junior heavyweight. That was that is not an easy move to do on a heavyweight. Okay, 
two count there once again. Jace is looking in trouble here. Beautiful oh, counter. What beautiful a counter. What cheap a counter. Shot. Cheap oh, shot. absolutely not. That was all fair. Referee Rebecca should be straight onto that. Oh, big cracking chop there. To Letting the him up in the corner, and he's continuing with some more. Oh! DB's feeling that one. Chop that chest draw, mate. Snapmare. Turning from the other turn oh, buckle. Drop kick. And hey, two, two counts. Count. Yeah, quite a quick turnaround there. Um, DB, I thought he had this one, and in a moment's notice, with a little bit of cheating on cheating no. on Jace's part. DB oh. dropped the ball and took his eye off the competition. Big gut wrench suplex there. Showboating a bit too much here. Should have put cocky him away. Pin. Yeah, that was a cocky pin, but you know what? I felt like it, that, that no. could have defeated DB right then. No point complaining to the referee on that one. Referee called that one correctly. It was only a two count. Maybe you shouldn't have been showboating so much. Well, uh, it looks like uh, Jace is going to some reserves here by trying to choke the life out of DB. Whatever life is left in DB Robertson, he's about to squeeze out right now. DB's definitely got some life left on him. He's calling on the audience to help him. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Oh, oh, what? That will, though. Straight back into the turnbuckle. Oh, vicious elbow. Oh, that's a nice, huge forearm to the neck. And chops him on the chest there. Brings him out of the corner. Both men right. struggling for position. Oh. And Jace counters, lighting him up in the corner with some huge elbows. Lovely elbows. Oh, Yeah, he needed chop. to get those in. Oh. A reversal as well. Oh, both men giving it to each other here. This is like a game of chess. Both men are perfectly equal at the moment. Off the, to the ropes. Oh, oh, huge bulldog. One arm bulldog made famous by Kenzuki Sasaki from Japan. Still not enough to put the executive away. DB Robinson's picking him up here. Oh, looks like we're going to go for a body slam. Oh no, he's going for a fall away slam Look here. Look at the strength at DB Robinson right now. Oh, crash landing. He absolutely threw him from one corner to the next. Getting the crowd on his side. What's he doing? Oh! Springboard elbow drop there. Is it enough? No, he kicks out. Jace still kicks out. Oh, that was a close one there. I wasn't expecting Jace Chalmers to kick out of that. I really think DB's got this one in the bag here. You need to give Jace a lot more credit. He is a thinking man's wrestler and he still has a lot under his sleeve, I can guarantee you. DB's lining him up here. Oh, just as I thought. With it. Oh. Crawling back to the scoring no. Oh, what a knockout kick by Jace Chalmers. Kick to the head. Oh, two count. DB somehow still in the game. Rebecca Rumble, she indicates there was a two count there. Jace is visibly upset and he shouldn't get too carried away right now. Oh, it's only firing DB up more. Standing switch. Turn out, front facing headlock. Oh! Duck the line. Back and forward here. Oh! oh a huge neck breaker on the part of DB Robinson. This has got to be it. Is it enough? Oh! Barely kicked out of that one. Just rolled his shoulders up. If Jace doesn't fight back right now and do something, he will lose this match. Yeah, definitely on DB's side here. This match, the way it's going at the moment. Crowd getting behind DB here. DB's fired up to... Wow! Oh, what a blow, and another clubbing blow. Big clubs to the chest there. Oh. Reverse! What is this? It's oh. the executive decision! Locked in tight! Oh, DB's in trouble here. This is right in the middle of the ring. DB's got nowhere left to go. Can DB fight out of this? Oh! No, it's called off! Looks like that is. It looks like... Oh. Chase wins! Jace wins this match by submission. I must say that's a surprising win on my part. I wasn't expecting that. He had something under his sleeve and he pulled it out right at the right time. Otherwise, he was going to lose this match. 
and Jace Chalmers. That's three good points to have at the start of the tournament. Hey, I'm the Chainsaw, like you didn't already know. And I'm out here doing a bit of tracking. Just what I'm tracking, well, that's a surprise for another day. But suffice it to say, when I find what I'm looking for, and believe me, I will, I'm going to dominate Wrestle Strong in ways you can't even imagine. I'm Mindy Meltdown, and I'm Rebecca Rumble, and, and we are the women of the Wrestle Strong Dojo. And we have a challenge for you. Any wrestlers out there who think you're tough enough to compete with us? Bring it on. 28th of July, Penrith Gales at 2 p.m. See you there. And who's it gonna be? Who's got the guts? It's Chainsaw and Banjo Powers. I definitely agree with that, Banjo. <laughs> hey, um, I think I'm just going to ask the audience, do you guys see any men wrestlers out here? No! What are you talking about? I'm not scared of you. Anyway, back to this match. I didn't have this plan tonight. I had some other plans. I was supposed to be in the heavyweight tournament and management seemed fit to, uh, to exclude me for what I can only assume is something that got against me. But I've decided... But I hate <laughs> All I've decided is I'm going to run through everybody in Wrestle Strong until they can't deny me a shot. So unfortunately, ladies, you two are going to be first on the chopping block. But to make it fair, I'm going to allow you to go back and see if you can find somebody who's willing to step into the ring with us. So it'll be three on two. Those odds should be close to fair. So if you've got anybody in mind, go back. Grab them and we'll have some sort of a match. Alright, Rebecca, go back there and find us the biggest, strongest, manliest man that you can find so we can beat down Banjo and Ready to go, all hyped up. And we're about to get underway here. Looks like we're going to be starting off with Rebecca Rumble and Banjo Powers. Sizing each other up. Big lock up there, pushing against each other. Oh, front facing Chantry. Taken down to the mat by Rebecca Rumble. Oh, reversal out. And she takes it. Oh, Banjo smart thinking there. Good reversal of his own. Oh, good wrestling here. What's going to happen here? Oh, oh Gator Roll! You can't do that. Surely that's not legal. Good work there, Rebecca. Oh. And he breaks out of it. Oh, look at that. Straight into a pin by Rebecca Rumble. But easily kicks out. 
And ready for round two, by the looks of things. I don't know. His feathers look a little bit ruffled to me there, Jake. Oh, he's just warming up. No, I think that one gave him a bit of a shot. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like he hasn't got a, he's not going to tag out, though, so let's see what happens. Big lock-up. Oh, nice said side headlock there put on by Rebecca Rumble. Well, I should have enough strength to get out of this one, but let's find out. And a headlock takedown. And Rebecca Rumpel is wrenching on that headlock there. Banjo looks like he's trying to get head scissor. No, he's reversed out. And oh! Nice takedown. Only a one count on that one. A little bit of gloating here on the part of Banjo Powers. Banjo deserves to be confident. I mean, look at his six pack. It was a good looking takedown. I don't know about the six pack. But... I have my reservations about that one. I'm just jealous. Everyone's jealous of his six pack. Oh, another nice takedown from Rebecca Rumble. Ouch. Oh, two count but he there. Kicks out. Don't count Banjo out just yet. Oh, oh, looks like Rebecca has a fair bit of confidence there. Well, and that looks like Banjo's having a break by bringing in Chainsaw. And Mindy Meltdown has been tagged in by Rebecca Rumble. Two are sizing each other up. Lock up. And go behind into a waist lock by Shane Saul. Mindy Meltdown is struggling here and she managed to get a reversal on. I think Mindy's going to struggle a bit here, Jake. Um, Shane's definitely got a, a strength advantage on this one. He definitely does. He is a powerhouse when it comes to the uh, heavyweight division anyway. So we'll see how he goes against the female. And he's reaching on the arm there of Mindy Meltdown. With ease, might I add, but a nice reversal by Mindy. And Mindy takes behind to a waist lock. And, oh, a schoolgirl. Look at that. Wow, what a nice bridge on that one. Did you see how cocky she looked when she tried to pin him that way? It's a pretty good pin there. Um, schoolgirl, a lot more uncommon than the schoolboy that you see quite often, but definitely better. What's the difference? Females are better. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure that's what the boys are here trying to prove, that the men are always better when it comes to pro wrestling. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Back to a wrist lock by Mindy Meltdown. And she's wrenching down on that arm. And Chainsaw takes the reversal there. And he goes into a hammerlock. Chainsaw definitely showing he has the power advantage over the females here. And changes it to a side headlock. And look at Chainsaw squeezing the life out of Mindy Meltdown. Okay, Mindy Meltdown. Oh, headlock takedown there on the part of Shainsaw. Definitely showing his power and display here. Straight into a head scissor. Easily kicks out of it though. It's going to take a lot more than that to bring the boys down. Well, the girls going really good here today. So far so good I suppose, but don't count the boys out either. Mindy's just rallying the fans behind her here. They're Definitely got the fans on the girls' side here. Oh, the boys don't need the fans to win. They just need their own physical strength to dominate this match. Straight back into the arm work again. Looks like Mindy Meltdown's got a plan here today. She's going straight back to the arm each time, if you've noticed. Also, Shane, so they both seem to be working for the Oh, arm. big oh. knees there to the stomach. Kick to the back. Come on, Shane, so don't take it like that. Get off. Oh, jackknife pin. And he kicks out. He still kicks out. Some really nice looking pin sequences there, Jake. Not too shabby. And it looks like we've got Alex Irvine coming in against Banjo Powers. The third female of the group takes on Banjo Powers. <laughs> You're your usual nice self again today, Jake, I see. Let's just say I don't like Alex Irvine. Is that because he beats you all the time? He doesn't beat me all the time. I did beat him like that one time. <laughs> Look at him here, he's trying to cheat or something. That oh, was just nice unfair. DDT, rolling DDT. Come on, there. Banjo. Oh, we've got to get the shoulders down. Oh, two count. Oh, he could have got a three there. He just didn't make sure those shoulders were down. And referee Jess was right on the action there. She was doing the right thing. Yeah, good work by referee Jess there. Oh. Figure four and a figure eight. Oh. And he's reaching that on and pull back. Oh! oh. Chainsaw cuts this one off real quick. And he's dragging Irvine straight into his corner. And like that, it looks like the things have changed here. Smart thinking, if you ask me. Yeah. Pretty 
much along the lines of your tactics, isn't it, Jake? Well, you've got to do what you've got to do to win the match, so I don't blame him. Off the ropes! Oh, big back elbow, down goes Irvine. Cocky pin. Yeah, you're never going to pin someone that way. I don't even know why people do that. Me neither, it's stupid. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen you do that, Jake. Oh, I don't think so. I think you're thinking of something oh. else. Oh, huge headbutt. Big headbutts there. So oh, gonna Alex is going to feel What's he doing? He's biting him. That is disgusting. Who would bite someone, Jake? No, that is so wrong. Oh, who knows what you'd catch from that? I need to talk to him about it too. I think he's stealing some of my moves. <laughs> oh, and he's got him on the right. He's definitely stealing one of your moves, Jake. Oh, choking him out. Squeeze the life out of him. Come on. Off the ropes. Oh, oh. big knee to the back of the head. Someone's got to check the front row for his skull. Oh, poor Alex there. This has got to be a three. No! Oh, Alex manages to kick out there. He really needs to be tagging in the girls here. He's not looking like he's in good shape here. Yeah, but the boys are playing it smart and keeping it in their corner. Definitely. Okay, looks like they're doing a bit of double teaming here. And looks like referee Je Jesse's allowing that. Oh, oh backbreaker! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Double leg sweep into a... Oh, wishbone! Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh, I don't think I've ever seen Alex do the split, so that oh, definitely is gonna hurt Alex. Definitely. Oh. Still kicks out somehow, some way. He finds a way to kick out. I have to give him credit for that. Yeah, the fans are really behind Alex here today. They really want to see him and the girls win this, I think. Well, let's just hope they don't get too disappointed. Oh, and decapitating Lariat by Banjo. Followed by a big elbow drop there from Banjo Powers. Oh, two count once again. Referee Jess calls. Alex Irvine mustn't have much brains, but he definitely has a big heart when it comes to kicking out and staying in the fight. Face slam into his turnbuckle. Looks like these two have got things tied up here, making sure they keep Alex out of his own corner. Beautiful strikes by Banjo. Oh, what's happening here? Hey, what are they doing? Well, clearly Banjo had a complaint to make to the referee and he's trying to sort out. I don't know what the, what the issue is here. choking out. Look, what the girls need to go and do is get in the ring and give the guys a good thumping here. I don't know what you're talking about. I was too busy trying to see what the issue with Banjo was with the referee. Sometimes you have to take things into your own hands. Okay, here we go. Shane Saw kicking away to the stomach of Alex Irvine. Big snap man. And wind up. Oh, stomp to the back. Is it enough for him? No, two count once again. Called by referee Jess. <laughs> Picked up and tagged out. Banjo Powell's coming in once again. The two are tagging quickly back and forward. Oh, big thump to the hand here. Now looks like we're going for a suplex. suplex. Textbook suplex by Banjo. Going for the pin. Oh, he's still kicking out. Yeah, he's still got some life left in him, it looks like. Maybe this is the point where the boys need to take this a bit more seriously and stop playing games. Banjo's called in Chainsaw once again. Maybe they're looking for Oh, no. ducking! Oh, yes. collision in the corner. That's not good for the good boys. Good work, Alex. Come on, follow through. Yes, big clothesline onto Chainsaw. Wait, in comes Rebecca Rumble. In comes Rebecca Rumble. What's going on here? Shane's still looking for oh. oh, face slam into the turnbuckle for him, and she's calling out Banjo. Oh, That's nice. That's what you get for not taking her too seriously. <laughs> oh, down, back under there. Off the ropes, and oh. oh. Double axe handle straight onto the chest of Shane Saul there. What's he going to do with Banjo now? Big knee strikes. Sharp knees, yep, followed by a suplex. Oh, puts him down. We'll send him halfway across the ring, but still not enough for Banjo to be put away. Two count there on the part of Rebecca Rumble. And now Mindy joins the fray. Looks like Mindy's got a lot of frustrations that she's wanting to take out here, but referee Jess getting control and saying, no, Mindy, you need to be getting out of the ring. Poor Banjo, look at him absorbing all of that punishment. Rebecca Rumble gives him a few good stomps to the stomach. Massive scream and a big elbow drop onto the leg. And it looks like Rebecca Rumble is a whole different kind of animal. Kind of like that. And she tags in Mindy. 
looks like they're going to do a bit of double teaming of their own here. Off the ropes. Double clothesline there. Followed by an elbow drop by Mindy Meltdown. Mindy Meltdown goes to pick up Banjo Powers here. Yes, but she better not get too cocky. Oh, double underhook. And, oh, big suplex there. He definitely felt that one. And he still kicks out. A lot of determination on the face of Mindy Meltdown there. A lot of determination in Banjo. Don't count him out just yet. That's, oh. Big spin around into a face slam. And she tags in Alex Irvine. Pretty sure he doesn't know where he is right now. No, Alex. No, Alex. Oh, trip down. You can't even run straight. Referee, you've got to get in here and stop this madness. Oh, cool Nelson bomb there. That's got to hurt. This definitely does hurt, but believe me, this move sucks. Oh, what a pressure there on the back of the neck of Banjo Powers. He's still waiting for you, and he does. Just what I was thinking. Oh, oh, very close pin there. Alex Irvine straight back on him, puts him into the turnbuckle. Oh. And he moves. Go on, you Banjo. Banjo moves out of the way. And. Back suplex. Big back suplex. Is he going to tag out or is he going to pin him? Nope, he just stomps. Adding insult to injury. Oh! Elbow drop there. Not Hit. going for a pin, I'm not sure if that is too smart by Banjo. Yep, I would have pinned him there. Putting him up on the ropes. Get out of the way! Oh! Oh! That was a huge forearm to the side of the head. And another one! Oh! Looks like the lights are on, but no one's home. Coming off the ropes. Oh! Big elbow there to the chest. Snapmare. Where's this one going? Off the ropes. Oh, drop kick. You saw a drop kick there, getting ready for a pin by the be it. No, kick out. Oh. The last second, too. Yeah, that was a very close to a three count, that one. Barely pick him off off the mat. That's how that's how out of it Irvine is right now. Yeah. Banjo must be frustrated here. I'm sure he thought that, that was the end of the match right there. I'd be frustrated too. The amount of times Irvine's been able to kick out during this match it shows how resilient he really is. Double teaming off the ropes. And what on earth is this? Hurricane Rana into the corner. Chainsaw coming up. Stomping away. Good double teaming move there. Yeah. Chainsaw picking him up. Climbers carry the lift here. What's he going to go for? Steamroller. Oh. That's got to do it. Good move there, the steamroller. And he kicks out. Once again, close to a three count. Alex really needs to be tagging in the girls here. This must be rigged. There's no way Irvine can absorb all of that punishment and still kick out. Some of these pins, the guys need to make sure they're hooking the leg and being really serious about their pins. Stomping away on the stomach here. And he's tagged back Banjo. Once again, they're keeping it in their corner. Very smart. Banjo brings him out. What's he going for? Off the ropes. Take him off the ropes. Yep. Oh, ducky clothesline. Oh, a spear by Irvine. Great spear. Now he needs to tag. Come on. Alex Irvine needs to get a tag. Tag in the girls here. Both men are in the mutual corners. Who's going to make it first? Banjo's crawling over the chainsaw. Who's going to make it for a tag? Like... Mindy Meltdown's coming in the ring. And chainsaw. Clothesline. Oh, two big clotheslines there for Mindy Meltdown. Kick to the stomach. Got. Oh, big boot to the stomach. Oh, no. This can't be what I think it is. Meeting of the minds. Oh, oh, down they go. Big double head <laughs> And Mindy's got rid of Banjo, pushing oh, the chainsaw away. Oh, Big chop. shot to the chest. What is she going for here? Handspring. Oh. Oh, wow. Handstand takeover there. Yep. Chainsaw feeling that on the neck. Sure, now he doesn't know where he is. Followed through by a snap there and a neck whip. Oh. Good sequence of moves there. Very jarring move. That might be enough. 
Oh, two kick out you there. You can see the power difference in that kick out though. You can see Shane Saw still has a lot left in it. Yeah, I'll give it to you there. Shane Saw's definitely got a lot more power left in it. What's Minnie going to go for here? Fisherman suplex. Oh, she lost that on the going over. Oh, in comes Banjo, kick to the stomach. Here. Came in with so much momentum, he nearly tripped over. Rebecca Rumble's got him by the neck. And out goes. out goes Banjo. Well, that's pretty much what you should do. But what is the referee doing? Surely that was an illegal move. Something should have been done about that. How many times have Banjo and Chainsaw been in the ring? We seem to have very selective viewing. I don't know what you're talking about. All I see are these girls and a guy trying to cheat in this match. Well, what's going on here? It looks like Alex see? has called the girls in. All three of the girls. <laughs> And they're all taking it in turns of just rolling straight onto the stomach. Oh, this is like... not this is not the time to play games. Oh, and big splash. Oh, mini meltdown takes out Banjo Powers again, and it looks like Alex Irvine is lining up Shane Saw to go up the top rope. Come on, Shane Saw, wake up. You can't let this happen to you, mate. Come on, get out of the way. Well, that looked like a bit of fun play back there on the final girls. Oh, come on, this is not legal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the girl said, helping Alex Irvine. And it looks like the girls and Alex Irvine have the win here. I don't like that at all. You, you clearly saw that all three of them ignored the rules and cheated to get that win. And you just didn't happen to notice Banjo and Chuck are doing that for the entire rest of the They were doing what they had to win. This was a different case. Yeah. <laughs> and your winners are Rebecca Rumble, Mindy Meltdown, and Alex Irvine. I am anger. I am violence. I am a live wire. I am a monster. I will be the greatest superstar in Wrestle Strong Dojo history. I am the problem child. And I am. I am Jenkins, your girlfriend's favorite friend. So we have an announcement. The Junior Heavyweight Championships will be at the next Wrestle Strong Dojo show, August 25th. Don't miss it. It is going to be a six-person gauntlet show. We have the first person to pick the round, and it's a really, really hard spot. Number one, and let's see. Wrestler number one is the hometown kid from right here in Fenrith, Vanilla Killer, Ryan. Right now, 
Do you really think I'm not used to the odds being stacked against me? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I use it to fuel me. So, I can guarantee that I'm going to walk in first, and I'm going to be the last person who walks out with that beautiful junior heavyweight championship above my head. Looking fella in the room. <laughs> Debatable. Thank you, thank you. He's the hot shot! <laughs> Banjo! <laughs> now it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. So you're coming out here talking about how you're gonna win the junior heavyweight championship when. Didn't you just get beat by a few girls? What's your shit? 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 What's Banjo and Shaw. 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 You think you could do better? Yeah. No. With a vanilla bean and a banjo string? Um, uh, being the nuclear scientist that I am, I'm going to drop a bomb for you. I'm entering the junior heavyweight championship as well. Vanilla Killer Ryan Miller, Banjo Powers, yeah! and Mindy Meltdown. And there is one more contestant who has made his call via video. Whoa, 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 guys, 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 guys. Did I just hear Junior Heavyweight Gauntlet? Well, you can't have a Junior Heavyweight Division without the problem child, Jake Gibson. And I'm practically the veteran of this group. And there's nothing I love to do more than win championships and beat up rookies. Well, I'm sorry, guys. But, you know, at the next show, when I make my Russell Strong debut, I am going to stand tall above every single one of you and be named the first ever Russell Strong Dojo Junior Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> Introducing first, a mainstay of the Australian wrestling scene, the Pantherine, D. First is Dean Draven. Dean Draven, 23 year veteran of the sport. Dean Draven will be the first to say he's at the very top of his game. And you're not wrong about that. We're looking at one of the greatest Australian heavyweight champions of all time, if you ask me. And he's also a Penrith local, so fan favourite here today with the locals. Okay, getting behind Dean there. I will say this will be one hell of a heavyweight hit out. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, expecting some really hard hits here. Introducing second, the founder of the Fighters Against Child Abuse Charity, the guardian of the innocent, Adam
Adam Fakar just taking off his gi here. Adam Fakar, he is a BJJ black belt and he's the president of the charity Fighters Against Child Abuse Australia, which works in partnership with Wrestlestrong Dojo. Certainly taking his time getting to the ring. Perhaps he's trying to play mind games with being here. Yeah, Adam has a MMA background. He was wrestling a long time ago in the past. Um, come back to the sport recently, but he's taken many years out to go into MMA, where he's had um, a number of fights successfully. Well, he can have those, all those fancy titles all he wants, but he's up against one of the greatest heavyweight champions in Australian wrestling, and I would actually really like to see Dean chop the crap out of him. So, getting ready to match up against Draven here. Dean keeping a close position here, trying to let Adam in. Yeah, both being a bit tentative here with the lockup. Obviously, when you're against a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist, you're going to be a bit concerned that he might be getting a submission on at a moment's notice. Well, Adam should, should feel the same way about Dean being a technical master. Oh, okay, Adam's gone straight for a leg lock here. Dean's rolling through to reach the rope. Smart move on the part of Draven. You don't want to stay in one of those leg locks from Adam Bacar for too long. Dean obviously not taking this too seriously. I'm not sure if that's wise. I think both opponents have a deep respect for each other, so I think that's what we're seeing here. Oh, enough about respect. I want to see these two clobber each other. Okay, lock up, go behind into a waist lock. Oh, looks like I, I thought that Adam might be going for a Kimura lock there, but doesn't look like he's going for a Kimura lock. He's changed his mind. He's going to a front-facing headlock. Dean's struggling to get out of this, and he does with an arm ring on. Okay, he's got a wrist lock on there. Check reverses it to a hammer lock. Oh, oh and it's oh, a beautiful takedown. Oh, under and over hook takedown. Good work on the part of Dean Draven. Great looking takedown there. What do you think, Jake? Pretty damn good. Adam getting right back onto his feet, ready for round two. Yeah, it looks like they're both enjoying this match. Uh, very competitive matchup between them. Adam going over some huge kicks there. Oh. Dean able to catch one into a waist lock. And back to a schoolboy. Oh, no, Adam's trying to counter with a triangle hold here. Ten. Can he reach the ropes, though? But is he going to be able to reach the ropes? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. huge clubbing strikes. Draven's just too strong. He, oh, it looks like here that Draven's going for a single leg Boston crab. Oh, can you hear the cracking sounds of those kicks? Yeah, big thumps to the back with that one. Draven's trying to sit down. Oh, Adam no. reverses, despite the weight disadvantage there. Oh, and straight into a choke hole. Referee needs to get on this and make sure that this is legitimate, this hole. Dean looks like he's gasping for air he's here. Fading. Oh, yeah, he needs to turn this over and try and get to the right. Oh, there you go, successfully. Yeah. Starts clubbing away. Turns it over, goes straight back into putting strikes on. So it looks like Draven is going to just focus on his strength advantage here. Let's just hope he doesn't get too cocky with this match and don't take things seriously because he's going to be in for the fight of his life. MMA fighters, I think they have that, got to come in strutting the confidence in the ring. I don't think that was too wise of Adam to uh, separate and let Dean get back on his feet because, oh, that's exactly why. Yep, great big shoulder tackle there. Yeah, 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 I'm good. It shows the strength advantage at display. Off the ropes. Oh, oh mid air takedown. Oh, that was a nice looking takedown there, okay? That's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu takedown there. Adam needs to work on Dean here, strangle the absolute life out of him, and squeeze every ounce of strength he has. Yeah, awesome looking hip throw that was, but Draven's taking it straight back to a head scissor here. Good work on the part of Draven to recover so quickly from that hip throw. And it looks like. Show respect there. Too much pandering. Way too much pandering. Adams should be on top of Dean, hammering away to secure the victory. Yeah, that's okay, Jake. We know that you don't have respect for anybody. I respect myself. And, oh, big strike to the head there. This is what I came to see. Two men fighting it out with absolute nothing to lose. Oh. 
um, looks a bit groggy there with those kind of hits on his... And he's got the advantage. Oh! Big boot to the stomach there. Spoke too soon. Dean hammering away. Pushing Adam into the corner and oh, looks like he's gonna... Oh! oh you want to get out of that corner. You do not want to be in that corner. Asking the crowd for some more. What would you say to that? Absolutely not. And oh, just chopped his eyebrows right off. I don't think I've heard an audience say no yet. <laughs> well, I hate to be the person on the other side. Oh, knee to the stomach there. And snap suplex. Oh, look at the speed in that snap suplex. I must say that Dean Draven would have to have the fastest snap suplexes I've seen in this. Absolutely. You can go flying halfway across the ring in a matter of no time. Yep. Oh, another big hit to the head there. Adam is in trouble. Oh. Another cracking. Oh, and he, no, and he fights back somehow. Oh. Taking the fight to Dean. But to no avail as Dean hits him with a huge scoop slam. Off the ropes. Misses the elbow. Smart thinking on the part of Adam Fakar there. He really was in trouble. Well, finally he gets on top of Dean and starts striking away. This is what this is the energy and the attitude I've been wanting Adam to have this whole match. Yeah, knee strike there, followed by a couple of strikes to the chest. It seems like the sportsmanship is over here. We're down to the nitty gritty. Oh, oh cut off there from Dean with a big elbow. Oh, step toe hold. Drop down into, oh, go straight back to work on the leg. Okay, looks like Adam Fakar has a game plan here. I'm not sure I would actually be picking on Dean Draven's legs. Well, absolutely not. But you can see the pain in Dean's face. He just happens to have him in the right spot at the right time. And Dean just needs to try and struggle towards the ropes to get out of this. Definitely wrenching on the pain out of there, but... Um, he makes it. Draven has, like, legs that are like tree trunks. So I'm not sure if that's the best game plan here. Absolutely not. And you can see that it didn't quite work. Uh, you can say Dean's legs are the same size of Adam's chest. <laughs> and here he goes, stomping away on the side there. Goes to bring him up. What's he got in mind for Dean here? One more. Gonna throw him into the turnbuckle. Oh. oh, looks like he's got something in mind for him. Maybe taking too long with this one. Yep. yep. He deserves that one. Yeah. Took way too long, too much showboating. Looks like Draven's gonna try something his own. Nope. Suckers him in for a second time. Oh. Dean's getting all fired up, which is gonna be very dangerous. Oh, looks like we've got the killing zone here. One, oh. two. Three. Oh my oh. god, just knock his head clean off. That's it! Who ah. wants to see the head box? Yeah. 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 Last clothesline there, with that left arm clothesline, just knocks him out. Tell you what, those left clotheslines by Dean can knock you out cold if you're not careful. Yeah, Draven's going up for the flying head box. No. Oh, oh no. no way! What is this? Kong is out here to send a message to the two opponents in this heavyweight tournament. Obviously, Kong here is trying to get the advantage. I don't think this is going to fare well, though, for Jengis. Chances are there'll be retribution from both Dean Draven and Adam Fakar. I'm sure I wouldn't want to make either of them angry. Well, he's gone ahead and done it because he's trying to send a message here. Oh, and he just... Did he just spit at Dean? Did he just spit at Dean Draven? Uh, look at him run away straight after. This match has officially ended in a no contest. Okay, so that means for both Dean Draven and Adam Fakar, they've received one point each in this tournament. That's a hard blow there for Dean Draven because I think he was going to have this one. Well, tune in for episode two when these guys get to settle it out in a tag team match.